everyone, welcome back to Kyrmox. I'm here today talking about seven reasons why your website should be more personal. You've probably already personalized your website to hit your target audience, but today we're gonna go over seven more reasons why you should make sure your website is as personalized as it can be. Here's reason number one, because you create a unique experience for first timers. So that means that you want the first person who comes to, the first time a new person comes to your website for the experience to be catered to that person. That experience is going to be a little bit different than the person who comes to your website all the time because he or she is always setting up new appointments with you. So you want to make sure that you have content that fits both people, people that are coming for the first time and people that come to your website routinely. Number two, you want to meet site visitors where they are. What I mean by that is in terms of two things, in terms of brand knowledge and in terms of making ready to make a sale or in your case to become a client. So in terms of brand knowledge, so some site visitors are going to know nothing about your brand and you're going to have to tell them about it. Other site visitors know something about your brand, but maybe not everything, and others have a whole lot of knowledge. That site visitor that I talked about before, who continually comes back, has already been um, in your practice, had a couple appointments, and now is going back to read your blog. Um, those are all different people. And you want to make sure that your website is personalized so that each site visitor feels that your website is for him or her. Um, and then in terms of ready to make a sale, or in your case to become a client, the first time a site visitor comes to your website, it's likely that he or she is not going to sign up for an appointment. A lot of times in today's world and in the way we make sales today, a lot of times people go to a site and then go back a couple days later and then go back a day after that and then schedule an appointment. So you want to make sure that you're getting the person that comes the very first time and are not overwhelming them because it's all about making an appointment right away. You want to make sure that you have um, different levels of commitment. So perhaps that first time a site visitor could just sign up for your newsletter or um, read your blog or then the next time they come they're signing up for an appointment. So having different opportunities for everyone, no matter where they are in the sales cycle and in knowledge of your brand. Number three, shower attention on each of your personas. You probably already know that your target audience um, or buyer persona is different. Um, you have probably at least two, more likely in your industry, three, four, five plus target audiences or buyer personas. So as an example, the buyer persona who comes to your website um, as a athlete is different from the buyer persona who comes because she's a expecting mother. Same goes for um, someone who's just been in a car accident versus an aging adult who needs more senior care. So you need to make sure with your personalized content that you are providing information showing attention to each of these different personas. And by personalizing your website for each of those different personas, you are making uh, your website that much more valuable of a resource and um, makes it more effective. So leading into that is point number four, nurturing the sales cycle. So this also kind of plays into meeting site visitors where they are. When you personalize your content and make sure that you're hitting the right target personas and target audience or buyer personas, then you are helping to nurture these people through the sales cycle. What that means for you is more clients, more people coming through your doors and more revenue for your practice which is a very good reason why you should be personalizing your website. Um, number five, makes, personalizing your website makes your site more relevant. Um, 
especially to these buyer personas when you're hitting each and every one of them. So you know that your website is not irrelevant to anyone because you have provided the content and the imagery and the user flow that makes sense for each target audience. Of course, I, sh I probably shouldn't say anyone because you probably do have negative personas or people that you actually don't really want for clients and then don't provide, you know, you don't want your website to speak to them because you actually don't really want them. That's a whole nother topic and one I definitely don't have time to cover today, but if you would like to know about, more about that, you can reach out to us at counterlocks.com and we can set up a call or an email session or whatever works for you. Um, number six, creates feelings of goodwill toward your practice. I don't know if you've noticed with the second half of these reasons, but all of these are kind of starting to play in together, create the snowball effect where when you are making your website more personal, this happens and this happens and this happens and all of a sudden you have this giant snowball effect leading to just better marketing overall, leading to more patients for your practice. So when you are creating feelings of goodwill towards your practice, it creates more interest in your practice overall. So um, people go to your site, they see that you have created content that's geared for them, they're excited about it, they go to social and they talk about the good experience that they had at your practice and now uh, X amount of people are now aware of your practice. Then those new site visitors come to your website and they love that you have this unique experience for them and now when they sign up to go to your practice, they have a good experience and so on and so forth. So, building the snowball, because, all because you personalize the experience for these first time visitors, for people, no matter where they are in the sales cycle. Lastly, point number seven is that when you make it a goal to make your website more personalized, it leads to more personalization on other channels. So here I've listed email and social, which is definitely the case, but it can also be in other parts of your marketing, whether you're doing direct mail or trying to do a billboard or a radio segment. You are focused on personalizing your website and that trickles down into other pieces of your marketing, which again, creates for more effective marketing overall. I hope with this video I've convinced you to take a second look at your website and make sure that you've personalized your website for site visitors, no matter whether they're first timers, second timers, or 15th timers. Uh, if you need help with creating a more personalized experience for your site users, get in touch with us at kyromox.com. Um, there, it's some, there's some things we can do to make it easier for you on the side of the website in terms of personalization um, and we would love to help you with that. I'll leave our contact information in the box below and also on the screen now so that it's easy for you to get in touch. Until then, we will see you in one week's time on another Friday and uh, we'll be back with another video then. Keep in touch. Bye.